Babylon's demise is so certain that it is depicted in Revelation as having already occurred. This is something Christians can be assured of. However, there are practical reasons for informing them. What is the connection between God's people and this final Babylon? There are three rules to follow. First, there will be many martyrs in the city. The whore is drunk with the blood of the saints, the blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus. This last phrase again indicates the presence of Christians and occurs throughout Revelation. Revelation 1.9 NIV I, John, your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus, was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. Revelation 12.17 NIV then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep God's commandments and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. Revelation 14.12 NKJV Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Revelation 19.10 NIV At this I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, Don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers and sisters who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for it is the spirit of prophecy who bears testimony to Jesus. In a city devoted to immorality, pious people have no place. A conscience is something that the community does not desire. Second, Christians are instructed to come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues, for her sins are piled up to heaven and God has remembered her crimes. Revelation 18, 4 and 5, NIV. Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues, for her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. This is nearly identical to Jeremiah's appeal to Babylonian Jews. Jeremiah 51, 6, KJV. Flee out of the mist of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. It's important to note that they must come out. The Lord does not take them out. Obviously, not all Christians will be martyred. Some will live to see another day, even if they must leave their money and possessions behind. Third, when Babylon falls, there is to be a celebration. Revelation 18.20 NIV Rejoice over her, you heavens. Rejoice, you people of God. Rejoice, apostles and prophets. For God has judged her with the judgment she imposed on you. This is done in Revelation 19, 1-5. After this I heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven, shouting, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. For true and just are His judgments. He has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. And again they shouted, Hallelujah! The smoke from her goes up forever and ever. The twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who was seated on the throne. And they cried, Amen! Hallelujah! Then a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, both great and small. On that day, only God's people will be singing hallelujah, which means praise the Lord. The bride appears after the prostitute has vanished. The lamb's wedding banquet is going to take place. Jesus is getting married, or more accurately, he is coming to get married. Matthew 25, 1 through 13, NIV. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the others also came. 
Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. The bride has made herself ready. Blessed are those on it. <laughs> 